Fans of po' boys can be pardoned for feeling a little sandwiched in these days. As Bill Geist tells us, fate, circumstance, and those little dainty finger sandwiches are putting the po' boy in peril. The New Orleans po' boy is a classic, tasty, messy, and some say endangered sandwich. Po' oh, boy's a beautiful thing. It's a sandwich for the people. Hurricane Katrina wiped out many po' boy shops. This is a slow roasted duck po' boy. The Gulf oil spill caused popular seafood po' boys to slide off some menus. They're an inexpensive delicacy. That's the only way I can put it. And the encroachment of chains like Subway skims customers. There is no substitute for a real New Orleans po' boy. So a group of po' boy shop owners banded together to form the New Orleans Po' Boy Preservation Society which this past week held a rally of sorts, New Orleans style. Some 45,000 devotees attended the festival, including the mayor, Mitch Landrew, who favors Parkway po'boys. My mom and daddy got engaged at this point, so it's very... They did? Yes, at Parkway? At Parkway. You're kidding. A long time ago. Wow. We'll cook for about 24 hours, make our own gravy. And what would Norms be without the po' boy? Hungry. <laughs> <laughs> the po' boy is a New Orleans icon, created here in 1929 during a streetcar conductor's strike by coffee shop owners Benny and Clovis Martin. That good French bread. Clovis Martin's granddaughter, Nisha Otilio Murphy, was honored at the festival. When the streetcar conductors went on strike, they would feed them free. And when they'd come into the restaurant, they'd say, here comes another poor boy, let's feed him. Hence the name. But what exactly is a poor boy? This is meatball poor boy. The best. Practically anything on French bread. And in New Orleans, practically anything is delicious. Fried shrimp overstuffed poor boy. It's fried chicken, chassis, ham, Swiss cheese, on French bread. New Orleans French bread is an exquisite canvas for these culinary arts. The crust is real hard and crispy, but when you cut it, the inside is like cotton candy. It's real airy, real light, real soft and fluffy. Justin Kennedy, general manager of Parkway. It has something to do with the humidity and being below sea level and the weather, just New Orleans. It's roast beef insurance. Po' boys are populous, affordable, and practically everywhere. As Justin Kennedy explained to none other than President Obama when he stopped at Parkway for lunch in August. First person that came that Sunday morning was a sewage and water board worker. Just got out of a manhole, filthy, dirty. Order shrimp po' boy. And I said, Mr. President, you eat the same thing. And that's what makes me love this place. There you go. Justin and owner Jay Nix refurbished and reopened Parkway twice, before Katrina and after. Electric got passed by the bucket truck. He said, y'all got po' boys? I said, no, we don't have any electricity. The building was still ringing wet. He took the bucket truck and hooked up the electric. They wanted pool boys. So you got preferential treatment? We did. Because they needed pool boys. 876. Good choice. Johnny's pool boys has never been busier, says Betty DeGrucia, who founded this local institution with her husband Johnny in 1950. Why do you think Johnny's has become so popular? Because my husband was so charming. Her three sons, Johnny, Denny, and Doyle, running now. Before I tell you, when Katrina happened and I finally got my first po' boy again, it was like, oh, new love. You gotta sometimes lose it to appreciate it. In these embattled times, as the po' boy goes, so goes the city. And that's some much needed good news for New Orleans. As long as there is a New Orleans, there will be a po' boy, and we're not going nowhere.